Hello everyone, welcome back to another cooking vlog. My name is Manny and this vlog I'm going to make for you guys um, um, oka or simple snapper oka. Um, hope you guys enjoy it. It's a real easy oka to make and yes, it's similar to the rest of the okas I've made but I thought I'd do a cooking vlog on this because um, yeah, it was a really nice oka. So I thought I'd show you guys how I made it. Hope you guys enjoy this vlog and we'll see you very soon. So here are the ingredients I used to make a oka snapper. So I used one purple onion, 1.5 kilograms of gold band snapper fillets, fresh fillets. I used two cucumbers as well, one liter of coconut cream, five lemons, 500 mils of water. What's well, up to you how much water you use, whether you like it thick or not. And also use salt and pepper just to season as well. So yeah, that's it. Let's begin. So firstly, I chopped up um, the fresh snapper fillets. So make sure you wash these as well before you cut them up. Um, because it is raw fish, um, just be careful. So make sure you wash them thoroughly. And then we're going to cut them up into bite-sized pieces, roughly about three to four centimeters in size like so and yes I am using the pot to mix all my ingredients because I'm gonna make heaps of the oka today so firstly I did the fillets and then I squeeze the lemons into the pot so make sure you use like a lemon squeezer or whatever you can just to get as much juice into that pot or the bowl and then I also chopped up the onions so make sure you finely chop them um, just enough so then they can um, blend in with the rest of the oka mix like so. So we're going to mix that together and then we're going to season it with salt and pepper just to start off with. And this will flavour the fish and just let it sit for about 5 minutes once you've done that. And then once that's settled um, we're going to cut up our veggies, so our cucumber. I've kept it simple um, just because the focus was on the raw fish this time round. So you can see the colours are coming through with the purple onion and the green cucumber. And then we're going to mix that together like so. And then once you've done that, just make sure you get all the lemon from the bottom of the pot, the pot as well. And the onions and the seasoning just so that the oka can be balanced. And then once you've done that, you're going to empty out your one liter of coconut cream. So I've used Cara in this instance. Because it's real thick, I filled it up halfway with water and then emptied it into the pot again. And then once I've done that, I seasoned it one more time. So you can grab a teaspoon just to taste whether it's uh, balanced or not, the flavor. If not, you can add more salt as well. I'm going to put it in the fridge to chill overnight. Alright guys, I'm just gonna scoop out the, the oka now. I'm gonna use this bowl, so you guys can see. Alright guys, so here's the oka. I like this um, eaten with cooked bananas, or green bananas, plantains, or fa'i, or with taro. No coconut cream, because the coconut cream's right in here. So here we go. Here's the oka. Mm. Oh gosh. Mmm. Let me finish. Hope you guys enjoyed this cooking roll. May you, um, wishing everyone a happy new year. All the best leading up to 2021. Let's make the new year a special one. Let's um, make changes, achieve our goals. And um, yeah, all the best guys. We'll see you in the next vlog. Bye. So this is our Christmas day lunch. So pretty much I just had seafood um, it was fish all, all around. Um, we had oka, bananas, taro. Also had some sparkling grape juice just to give that festive feel. 
there you go there's my sparkling red grape juice i had um and yeah it was a it was a good feeling to know that we weren't eating too much because we had breakfast that morning so i thought we'd have a nice light dinner and this was the option we went for which was oka and it was really nice so I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and we'll see you in the next vlog. So this is the preview of our next vlog which is a one jar cookie recipe gifted by my family in Melbourne. So shout out to my family in Melbourne who gave this to me. Looking forward to making it. I'm